Recently, I was brought into work that required development on a Windows machine. This was a hard requirement, so I had to use Windows as my operating system. Anyway, this is the setup process that I went through. The first thing that came to mind was getting rid of all the Microsoft bloatware. It was hogging up a lot of resources and some disk space. I found this incredibly annoying. So I looked through GitHub to see if an easy solution existed. I found a super popular script called Win11 to bloat. Apparently, this script can remove the pre-installed apps that no one uses and even disables telemetry. Here you can see some screenshots showing the different menu options, I suppose for more granular control. In their features section, they give a bit more information on each function. They have app removal, telemetry as well as tracking and advertisement removal. The script also removes that annoying Cortana feature that no sane person uses. They also remove Bing Web Search. If you're on Windows 11, it also can disable the Copilot feature. It can also turn on some hidden settings in the File Manager and Taskbar. Let's move on to the installation steps. There are two ways of installation. If you want to follow along, I will be using the advanced method. What you would need to do is to first download the zip file here. Then extract it. Subsequently, you would need to open PowerShell as admin. To do that, just search for PowerShell and then right-click and select Run as Administrator. After that, you need to copy this command and run it. What it does is that it will allow the script to run with the unrestricted execution policy. I would only do this with a script I trust. In this case, the script is freely available and open source, so I am not worried about it. Next, we would need to go to the directory where the script is present. If you did the same as I did, it should be in the downloads folder. What we need to do is to go into the downloads directory. To do that, you can put in this path. Now, all we have to do is to run the script. The name of the script is win 11 to blow. After that, we will be inside the script. It gives us a bunch of options to choose from. You can select default if you want to use the default options that the script has set up for you. You can do custom if you want a more fine-tuned experience. If you want to do only the app removal, then you can go with option 3. Finally, you can select 0 if you want more information. Let's try to check out what more information it can give us. Here you can see it gives us a more verbose output. For example, in the normal mode, it does all the prior things I mentioned before, like disabling most of the adverts and removing Copilot. You can read more if you're interested. Regardless, let's go back. I'm a bit more curious about the different choices the script provides, so I will go with the second option. It subsequently asks us to make yes or no decisions with regards to applications. You can choose option N if you don't want to remove any apps. I suppose if you choose this, the script will only handle the setting with regards to privacy and telemetry. Option 1 is for removing the default application set by the authors of the script. You can check the app's list text file if you want to see what the list is. Option 2 will remove the default selection of bloatware apps along with email and calendar apps, and even development and gaming software too. And I suppose the last option lets you choose each and every application you want to remove or keep. I don't want to do that, so I will go with option 2. It's asking us if we want to disable telemetry. I want to, so yes. Nick sits asking if we want to disable tips and tricks which are basically advertisements. That's a definite yes. Yes to remove all the Bing and machine learning stuff from running. Do I want to make changes to tasks for service? I think yes. Yes, I want to disable those silly widgets. Yes to this too. I do want to see what options I can enable in File Explorer. I don't know why this would be an option, but I suppose you can show hidden files and drives here if you want to. 
I do want to see file extensions, so yes. Yes, I would like to hide duplicates. This is a better feature. It allows you to hide stuff from the side panel. You'd probably want to hide all the annoying things that you will never need. The same with the context menu options. I don't really use any of those, so I will agree to get them removed. Okay, just press enter to confirm. It's starting to remove the bloatware. I don't think I can even find some of these programs on the applications list. I suppose that's good. You can see here, it's removing stuff like Bing Sports, Bing News and Bing Travel. These are applications I will never use. Furthermore, it's also removing applications such as OneNote, Skype and Sticky Notes. It's also attempting to remove other applications that may be pre-installed by some manufacturers. I often see things like Facebook, Instagram and Candy Crush on other people's PC, so I am glad they covered that possibility too. Now it seems to be moving on to some of the core Windows bloat. It's also removing all the gaming rubbish and the Xbox stuff. It's starting now to disable telemetry and targeted ads. This makes it easier than searching each and every privacy option. I also believe that if you turn off all the privacy stuff the normal way, it gets reactivated in the next update. Next, it's removing all the other options I chose, things like options for the taskbar and file explorer. Looks like it's done. I will reboot the system to see if there are any weird graphical or functional issues. Okay, so I rebooted. I guess the script can't remove the Windows Edge browser. That's annoying, I suppose. Microsoft probably prevent that. Even when I go to the applications list, there is no option to remove it. With regards to the UI, I've used it for a bit, going through different menus and settings and I didn't notice any graphical glitches. Everything worked as intended. I also do some changes in the settings. Things that make the system more responsive. First, I would go into startup applications. I'd remove Edge and OneDrive from the list. I don't need them to start on boot. I would also still go into some of the privacy stuff. I know for a fact some of these options you'd need to turn off manually. Some of these were settings are turned off by the script. Others were not. For example, active history is turned off by the script but things like allow camera capture is not. I usually turn this setting on only before needing to do a video conference call. For microphone, I usually leave it on only when I need it, if I need to communicate with my peers for work. This voice activation is not something I use at all, so I'd much rather turn it off. I've also read that these voice activated programs can't really differentiate between the keyword and words that sound similar to it. This is bad because the word used to turn on voice listening is arbitrary. Meaning, as an excuse, Microsoft in theory can record you at all times. I usually don't need applications to read my notifications. Neither do I need them to access my contacts. I would just do the same for my calendar, phone calls, call history, emails, and the rest. In background apps, you probably don't need some of these apps to run all the time. So I would just toggle them off. I don't see a situation where I would need my calculator to run in the background. And I would toggle all this other stuff off too. I would leave the Windows security thing on though. Turn off the app diagnostics option as well. Those are usually the things I would do on a fresh install on Windows. Removing all the bloat is beneficial as they are usually the applications that hog up all the memory. Also, they are privacy nightmares. And they take up some disk space as well. So I do not see any upside in keeping them around. The telemetry and data collection should always be turned off as much as possible. This is the best you can do on a system like Windows. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.